Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Audible Talents Weekly Videos. Today we're going to be talking about something interesting for freelancers. We're going to be talking about how you can use ChatGPT to apply for jobs on Upwork. How you can use the ChatGPT to write your cover letters. It's an, it's an amazing trial. I've used it myself. You can check out this um, this screenshot. I applied for just one job. Usually I don't apply for jobs, but I tried to apply for one job, and that job I got hired instantly using ChatGPT. So I have some prompts that I've prepared, but I'm going to share one of these prompts now. For you to get the other prompts. Uh, you may want to leave a comment on the comment section so that we can send you a link for you to register your interest for these prompts and not just getting the prompt we are going to also make sure that you don't miss anything on chat gpt we're going to link you up to um some other tool that you can use that is also chat gpt that you can use without uh, going through any stress of typing or writing anything what you are going to be learning to be is going to be epic and it will change your life this chat gpt prompt is going to change the way clients respond to you and also i'm not just going to teach you about chat gpt i'm also going to introduce you to an alternative of chat gpt guys stay glued to this video and let's move to the next chapter let's go so guys we're going to try out a particular job posted here on upwork to see how chat gpt can help us draft a proposal so let's we're going to be picking this um job post so here the this is the job post this is an seu job um and the clients has actually notified us that we should please start our proposal with paint right so we're going to send we're going to get this to chat to draft something for us but before then we have to check out the name of the client in order to personalize this particular proposal that we're about to write let's see if we can find the client's name i had a good experience with kit okay yeah so the client's name is Kate. So we copy Kate, and then we we we, we go back to ChatGPT. So first of all, guys, um, this is the prompt. So I've already used the prompt before, so I'm just going to bring it out. This is the prompt here. So we're just going to paste the prompt here. So listen to the prompt. Write a personalized, concise cover letter to win this job on freelance platform. No need for address. The client's name is Kate. Now, client's client's name is Kate. Please ask the client intelligent questions. But before we 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 sell ChatGPT to ask the client intelligent questions, we're going to include to to tell ChatGPT to start the proposal. We start the 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 cover letter with pink that's, that's what the client specified okay so we still have to go through the, the job posts you know to see um what the client wants before you come back and include a uh, whatever extra thing in your prompts so now that we have done this we now have to go back to copy the I'm going to go back to copy the the job posts. So this is it. Copy the job posts here. So there's nothing to 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 copy. Please start the proposal. I would think because we're already giving ChatGPT the instruction, and then we paste it here and click enter. So just right after the semicolon, after the prompt, you put the semicolon in front of it, and then you paste the the job posts. Right. So let's see what ChatGPT is going to write for us. Okay, ChatGPT is writing something out of the way. Great. So I think that is done. Okay, it's not done yet. 
So, but while this is going on, we, we are going to also explore, I told you, I'm going to explore the alternative of ChatGPT. So, remember that ChatGPT is a product of Microsoft. And then um, Google also responded to you know, this product. And Google's ChatGPT is called bad.google.com. Right? So, while ChatGPT is doing their thing, we're also going to uh, use the theme prompt for uh, for bad for Google's AI and see what they are going to do. So we're still going to copy this whole message, including the prompt, and then paste it here. Enter. So let's see what's going to happen here. So while Google is doing his thing, let's go back to ChatGPT and see. So ChatGPT must have finished by now. Uh, it's a very long one. So at the end of the day, he still, he still added, please start your proposal with pink, which is quite very, very unnecessary. But since he started the proposal here, pink, I think it, it, it has actually killed everything. So let's look at the hook. Let's look at ChatGPT's hook. This is the most important thing. Now, ChatGPT began by saying, I hope this message finds you well. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to work with your small accounting firm and assist you in optimizing your website for Google. My expertise in website audits, SEO, and strategic recommendations make me confident, makes me confident that I can help you achieve your goal of doubling monthly sales by the end of this year. This is a fantastic hook. A fantastic hook. Any client that reads this will want to hire you. You see, ChatGPT is very intentional in this test part of the proposal. This is what many of us are not doing. And this AI is a killer for this. So after that, you just go straight to how it's going to tackle the issue. And then it gives you um, a transparency to become transparent in the third, in the third paragraph that is going to deliver it. And then here is where the intelligent question is. Remember, I, I said, please ask chat gpt some intelligent questions i don't know if i included it in the prompt yeah please ask the, the client some intelligent questions so i think the question i it tries to come about is is this you know right it says in order to in order in order to provide you more more tailored proposal and timeline i would appreciate if you could share the website or the of talent and so this is, this is it so this is where it actually included it so ChatGPT is very very intentional so all you need to do after you have done this is just to copy this and go straight to to upwork and paste it then preview it again to remove uh, things like this mistake here and then add your name here to sign off that's it that's it you can do this for as much as you can in a day and just keep posting keep posting jobs keep posting. so one thing again that could enhance your, your ability to win jobs is when you actually now add samples to this at the end of the day you can just include a line to show samples i can also we also have a prompt for that for showing samples but the GPT will not say something about samples. So I told you I'm going to be releasing only one prompt. So if you're interested in getting um, many of these prompts as much as possible, please uh, just leave a comment in the comment section. I'm interested or just type chat GPT there. So and once, once we see that we're going to get back, we're going to send you a link for you to pull through and actually get uh, those prompts as quickly as possible so guys let's go back to to bad but let's see what uh, what uh, uh, google's ai built for us it says dear kids i hope this email finds you well my name is bad i am a freelance seo consultant with five years experience i've worked with variety of businesses blah 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 so okay look at the question in the meantime what are the top priorities of your website seo what are the targets to know? Bad is also very, very coordinated. Very, very look at bad look. Bad, bad is putting bad is coming with experience. And 
is telling you that he has worked with from small startups to big startups and also where you see bad here you can just include your name so this is another uh, another style of the proposal written by google's ai so you have to now compare the two of them and see which one is best and which one suits your style and then you just copy that and send to the client or as much you can write this as much as just any number of times that you want to do a lot of you can just decide to be drafting like 10 proposals a day and five proposals a day using this technique so there's too many like i told you there's too many prompts that will deliver a classic proposal or cover letter for you hello guys i hope you had a wonderful time going through this video i hope this video is going to transform how you apply for jobs in the future but who tell it as an offer if you are tired of facing constant rejection and struggling to land jobs no matter how hard you try if you're tired of sending countless proposals and cold emails all to no avail then it is time to break free from this cycle of frustration and take charge of your freelance career get ready to unlock or parallel sources at our freelance accelerator masterclass wait, wait, wait. this is what you are going to benefit you're going to benefit how to make 50k to 70k a year you're going to learn that as a freelancer you're also going to learn how to rebrand yourself and maximize visibility and results we're going to we're going to teach you how to become a client magnet in order to increase client engagement we're going to teach you how to scale your freelancing fees from solopreneur to a biz owner running your business without being there we're also going to teach you finally on how to leverage ai in order to close jobs faster as a freelancer don't miss this that is coming from top rated and top rated plus freelancers in the industry with more than 10 years experience and up to two hundred thousand dollars and audible talent is number one talent refinery in africa don't miss this click on the link below to be part of this program and we'll see you there thank you for watching this video Bye for now.